everyone. Welcome to Warriors Outsiders, brought to you by Xfinity. Stream all your TV anywhere, any screen with the Xfinity Stream app. I'm Grant Liffman. That's Drew Schiller. And we are here to talk to you about the game that many of you think about or talk about or just say that's the defining moment of Steph Curry's career. Yes, it's in Oklahoma City, Drew. I have two words for you. Bang! <laughs> bang! Bang! When Mike Breen does yeah. a double bang, yeah. you know that it is a memorable event. And look, the reality is, is that um, this is not a hyperbolic statement. Steph Curry's game-winning shot at the Thunder on February 27th, 2016, is one of the most memorable regular season shots in NBA history. And you cannot tell me otherwise. That is a factual statement. It's <clears throat> definitely in Golden State Warriors history. Definitely. No, NBA history, regular I mean, season. Yeah, but I, at that point, the Warriors were on pace have the best record in the history of basketball, which they end up Correct. having. They're against the team that eventually they'll go down 3-1 in the playoffs to. Right. It's a massive matchup. The player that they're going against is the team, the guy that ends up going to the Warriors the next time. I agree. If you look at the big picture and not just focus on it just being one game, you're right. But that one game, I, you know, when I talk about the NFL and I talk about 49ers, I say, what's the best game you ever watched uh, for the 49ers? And I go, oh, easy. The 2011 game against the Saints, right? That was the. We I, watched the second half of that game together. We did. This game has to be in the top three of all Warriors games, even postseason, of just entertainment, pure entertainment for a game. Whew, God, they've had so many big playoff games, but. I know. But I do agree with you, um, just the, the magnitude of it. And so yeah. you mentioned, by the way, you didn't mention Kevin Durant's name. You just said the player as if he's like Lord Voldemort or something. Like we're not allowed to, he must not to be mention. Named. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm glad you brought him up because I wanted to remind everybody that. So, okay. So this game was February 27th. Yes. Okay. On February 2nd. So about a month before Adrian Wojnarowski, who was with Yahoo at the time, reported the following the truth is that they the warriors are the most intriguing destination to him if durant leaves the thunder the warriors are the significant front runners to sign him wow. so you had that variable as well because thunder fans were starting to get uneasy because kd was about to be an unrestricted free agent steph curry goes into oklahoma city and does what he does and already the wheels were kind of in motion for KD going to the Warriors. So you can't ignore that that narrative was already out there when this game happened. Right. A hundred percent. Yeah. It's just, it's the, everything. This is the, it was the context of it was insane. Uh -huh. And Oklahoma city, when they get going, they, it's a crazy arena. They, oh, they yeah. get after it. Yes. Um, the Warriors enter the game 52 and five. The OKC Thunder <laughs> were 41 and 17, which is normally an, like an astoundingly good season. But when you say 52 and 5 before that, that's not very fair. Um, by winning this game, they win it 121, 118 in overtime, the Warriors. Mm -hmm. They clinch a playoff berth with 58 games into the season. <laughs> they clinch a playoff berth. That, that, that's but like, they were but they were probably behind the Spurs in the standings at that yeah, point. Exactly. Spurs were up seven at that point. Um, yeah. Now, in this game, one superstar player ties his career high in threes in a game. His name's Kevin Durant. Did you know Kevin Durant hit seven threes and that ties his career high? He hit a three-pointer with 14 seconds to go in regulation to give yeah. the Thunder a four-point lead. And at that point, everybody thought the game was over. But we'll get to the details in a second. But keep going. Yeah, no, I, I just, you know, you just forget that Kevin Durant was on the other side. You think about all the Warriors and Steph Curry and, the, and, and going into the game. You and I have talked about this game probably 40 times on these broadcasts without actually talking about the game itself. Right. Steph Curry this week uh, before yeah. leading up to the game, 36 points, 42 points, 51 points. That's what, those are his games leading into this game. He even went to Augusta and shot some rounds of golf with uh, Andre Iguodala and probably some other famous people that we don't know about. So Jerry West and Joe Lacob. Those are famous people. Yeah. So the, the context of all that, we've just, we contexted the heck out of you. And now yeah. the game starts. 
Yeah, so um, let's context uh, some more because uh, within the actual game. So yeah. we all remember that uh, Steve Kerr and Draymond Green almost killed each other at halftime. Yeah, if there was so weapons that... involved, someone was ending up dead. <laughs> we can edit this part out, right? Yeah, yeah, that, that, that won't make it for sure. Okay, gotcha. Um, so that happened, and the Warriors were down by 11 points at the half. And Steph Curry rolls his ankle. Early in the third quarter, and doesn't come back into the game until a little over five minutes to go in the third quarter, yet still was able to put on that sort of performance. I I mean, just just, everything you just said, and I remember this specifically, the fight between Draymond and Steve Kerr is Mm -hmm. at halftime. And we hear about it. Was it Lisa Salters who announced it? Lisa Salters, yep. Yeah. And you're already like, oh, my God, this is finally happening. These two are just going at it, right? (laughs) And then, and this is already, you're like, the season could not have been going better. No. Then in the third quarter, Steph Curry rolls his ankle. And you're like, okay, so this is is how it happens. This is how they don't win the 72, 73 games. This is, you know, we finally found the game where it falls apart. Yep. And it could not have gone more the other way of the spectrum. Yeah, just just nuts. And since we're talking about Draymond, how about his stat line from this game? He not scores two good. points. <laughs> yeah. Well, not very good from what I just said. Two points. Of course, I know. I know. 0 for 8 from the field. And remember, yeah. a lot of what he was saying Ooh. to Steve Kerr at the half was yeah. that Steve Kerr was in his head because he didn't want Draymond to shoot and all that. But 14 rebounds. Wait, I messed up with the stats. Grant, what were his stats? My thing's off. Oh, no, your thing's off. Let's yeah. see. I got it. I got it right here. Draymond Green. 14 oh, rebounds. 14. Of, no, 14 rebounds, 14 assists. Okay, yeah. So I for, Okay, yeah. Yeah. I only wrote down 14, 14 assists. 14 rebounds, also, yeah. 14 assists, 6 okay. steals, and 4 blocks. 10 stocks? 10 stocks. I mean, like, what? Might as well give it a triple-double. 14, 14, and 10. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, Drew. I like that. Do you know what's insane about that? Draymond Green gets 14 rebounds. The Warriors uh-huh. as a team get 32 rebounds in this game. The That's Oklahoma it. City Thunder out-rebounded them 62 to 32 in this game. And I don't believe you. Oh, yeah? I'm going to double check this one now. And when I'm I said kidding. it out loud, no, no. When I said it out loud, I was like, it sounds really fake. But, yeah, uh, you sure about that? I don't want to be doing fake news here. Rebounds. Oh, this is different. This was still huge. 76 to 41. Maybe that was regulation I was talking about. 76 to 41. So it's insane. insane. Oh, no, no. I got 62, 32. I don't know. Well, then what was I just looking at? So the I don't point know. Is, Serge Ibaka had 20 rebounds. That's all right. I know. The point is, is that <laughs> while the Warriors won this game, that issue comes up later in the playoff series. Yep. That is a massive issue in the playoff series that almost and probably should have had the Warriors lose that series. So right. um, it was just a sign of things to come. And of course the Warriors pull it out, which maybe was even more of a sign of things to come that they're going to end up pulling it out in the end. But, and yeah, then stealing Kevin Durant. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Um, one other thing that I would just like to remind people when they're watching this, because there, I, there are going to be a lot of things that happen throughout the game where you're probably going to go like, oh my goodness, yeah, that happened as well. What? Um, so KD hits that three that could have been a dagger to make it 103.99 with 14 seconds to go. But then Clay gets a driving layup and then had a nice play on defense to get a steal. Kevin Durant turns the ball over. Then Kevin Durant fouls Andre Iguodala on like a 19-foot jump shot with (laughs) 0.7 seconds remaining. And Iguodala, who at that point in time was a 61% free throw shooter on the season, goes to the line and makes both free throws to put the game into overtime i mean Andre like Iguodala, insanely he, clutch he's we call him playoff Iguodala for all the games he has those have to be the two most clutch shots he's ever hit no i, I just I, I really mean this in the context of that no. game and how i'm not saying literally i was being hyperbolic so just in the context of the game and how like how much the Warriors wanted to win that game at that point Mm -hmm. and how hard they were playing every single regular season game. They weren't going to walk away from that one feeling like, ah, whatever, next game. No, No. that one meant something. Iguodala goes to the line after being exhausted and hits both of those free throws, Uh the whole crowd screaming their heads off at him. 
And of course he and Draymond were team best plus 10 yeah. for the game. So it's yeah. just another example of Iguodala just being big at all. One of the more underrated players in NBA history. It's an incredible game. The final stat, I, I'll bring up the final stats here. Uh, uh, Steph Curry scores 46 points, hits 12 threes, which by the way, ties a, a, a NBA record. An NBA record. Yeah, he, had, he didn't have the NBA record yet at that point. Klay Thompson, just a casual 32 points, no big deal, but only hit two threes. He scores right. 30, How many times has he scored over 30 points without hitting two threes? Um, I feel like that probably was a grand analytic at some point. At some point. Uh, Bogut, minus 19 in the game. He had a rough one in that one. Harrison Barnes. That was, all, un, that was unnecessary. Harrison to Barnes that to also, not a great one. But Iguodala, 12 points, six rebounds. Sean Livingston, seven points, three rebounds. Um, Mo Spates with eight points that matter. He was a plus eight in the game. So uh, it, it was a fun one, incredible one. OKC leads by 12 in the fourth quarter. I'm they very, were up nine with less than four minutes to go. I am very excited to watch this one. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a blast. Bang! 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 Two of them. Two of them. Yep. All right, everyone. Enjoy the game. <laughs> <laughs>